Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope you're all well. These are your November readings. Um, I'm going to focus mainly on love, but if I feel the need to speak of uh, whatever else the reading shows up, so I will be doing that as well. Um, whatever comes to mind, whatever I feel intuitively. So uh, November 2017 general and love readings they are and I will be using the um, the Rider Waite Tarot um, but it's by AGM Urania this edition and it's a really simple um, deck that I love using and I have used them in the past I love the energy that they give off also the usual Lavera Sibila by Massangini that you know I use every month. Um, also, of course, Doreen Virtue, uh, Romance Angels. Okay, that's a must. And also the uh, Lenormand Fortune Telling Cards. And it's the edition, the legendary 18th century oracle. Okay, it's by Harold Joston. Hopefully that's the way that we pronounce it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using for your November readings. Also, I'd like to add a couple of messages. First of all, I will be doing uh, the full moon in Taurus reading, which will be a general reading for all the signs. So look out for that in the next few days. And as well as the, um, the new moon which will be in Scorpio later on in the month of November. So I hope that you're all enjoying the extra readings and I will be um, doing more readings so I will keep you informed in relation to those as soon as I have the news. So thank you all so much for all that you do for my channel and I, I am sending you my blessings. Um, and hopefully everyone's, you know, on the right path for themselves. And of those of you that are trying to move on to the right path, good luck with that. I do know that there are a lot of um, energies where there's a lot of change. And I see that all around me. And it is a theme in the past, I would say from the, um, you know, the past couple of years, it's been ongoing with these eclipses. Now, um, from what I know, the um, the full moon in Taurus, which will be real soon, and the new moon in Scorpio, those um, those days will be touching upon the eclipses of August 2017, which was uh, the uh, the lunar eclipse, which took place in Aquarius at. Uh, on the 7th of August, and that was at 15 degrees of Aquarius, and also on the uh, eclipse, which took place on the 21st of August in Leo, and that was at, um, if I'm not mistaken, 28 degrees, 28 to 29 degrees of Leo. So they, those, um, those sensitive points, you know, they're going to be touched by these... Um, the lunar movements, the as I said, the full moon in Taurus and the new moon in Scorpio, which are taking place in November. So do know that even though the eclipses took place a couple of months back, uh, the energies are coming back around. So, and with Jupiter in Scorpio, get ready. It's as though we're on a roller coaster, and there are a lot of changes coming in again another lot of major changes. It looks as though Jupiter is trying to clear out all the muck, you know. Scorpio is all about what's hidden beneath. Um, so for each and every one of you, it's going to be different because you, you're all born at a different time and it's hitting your personal lives on a different level. So I'd just like to wish everyone good luck with that. I do know I am <laughs> affected greatly Okay, because it is touching the full moon um, in Taurus is actually going to be touching my Mars, my natal Mars. 
Um, and then the new moon in Scorpio is touching my um, my moon, natal moon. So wish me luck. Okay. Okay, let's take a deep breath and uh, go on to your readings. I'm so looking forward to doing November for you guys on time. Yay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for listening to these messages. Please don't forget to give me a like. Thank you so much. Hello, dear Cancer. Hello, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope you're all really well. Today is actually the 2nd of November. Sorry, these readings are one of the latest ones. Um, something came up and I wasn't able to get them up past couple of days and I do believe in divine timing so this is when you need to receive the message for November 2017 love and general okay spirit guides angels what's happening with cancer cancer and their life for November especially in love can you please give me clarity Cancer, November 2017. Let's see. November 2017, Cancer. Okay, we've got your card here, Cancer. You've got the chariot, which is beautiful. Overcoming obstacles. Some of you may be literally moving, moving to another location you know relocation this could be overseas as well but usually it's not very far away the chariot sometimes in the witch's tarot it does show the chariot which is you know um, up in the heavens and it is being thrust forward you know in the ethers um, so this could be a metaphorical movement or a literal movement so the now position we've got the eight of pentacles your challenge card is the card of stagnancy the hanged man in the distant past you have the star in the recent past we have the ace of swords in the crowning position is the five, five of swords. In the near future, we have the ten of wands. In the advice position and how people see you is the king of swords. In the environment position, we have the strength card, which is the card of Leo. Also, the star card here is the card of Aquarius. In your hopes and fears, we've got the King of Pentacles. And the outcome card is the Eight of Wands. Remember how I said the chariot energy? Some of you may be moving, um, just generally moving. Some may be moving overseas others not so far away but the eight of wands you know is all about communication as well two clarification cards and we've got the knight of wands again this is sagittarian energy which is in relation to foreign people foreign lands and then we have the page of wands okay which is uh, for me it's like taking a risk some sort of minor risk okay the chariot at the bottom general energy what is beneath that we have the card of virgo which is the hermit card this is a number nine in the major arcana so from seven we go to nine the hermit is as i said a virgo individual or this is your energy going within looking for answers trying to be enlightened Okay, also a very spiritual card. A lot of spirituality here with a chariot trying to overcome obstacles and move forward. 
Okay, in the now position, the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, putting a lot of hard work in, you know, putting your nose to the grind, trying to concentrate on something that you are trying to manifest. For business, this means busy, busy, busy. Eight of Pentacles, not the Ten. You're not very far off in relation to work. Looks as though you're coming into a very busy period or you have that has started for you already. Okay, now we've got the hangman as the challenge. The hangman is a major arcana. Again, trying to be enlightened. Look at this halo. You are looking for information, waiting and hoping, maybe having to make some small sacrifice or to view things from a different perspective. Maybe that's what your challenge is. Okay. In the crowning position, we've got the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is difficult energy, you know, being in a battle and uh, trying to overcome your competitors. Whatever you are battling for, whatever you are fighting for in your life, it is a five. Fives are always about changes coming in. Okay, it can be harsh ideas going through your head. It can be things that cut you, your perception. Something is going on in your life. This is the crowning position, which says that you are feeling divided by, and there's another two people here. So this could be involving three people. Now, I don't have the Two of Swords here, which is making a decision, but, you know, he is holding two swords here. Nevertheless, the other three swords are on the, on the floor, on the ground, which says that there has been some sort of heartache for me with this card. In the recent past, you have the Ace of Swords, this is clarity, this is a new beginning, this is cutting through things that need cutting through, cutting out of your life, something you are fighting for. You've got this sword in your hand, or I should say it is being handed to you by the universe. The universe is telling you, you need to sever this. You need to begin again, okay? This is a very strong mental new beginning. In the far past, we have the wish card, but it also is a card of healing. Okay, now the star is at a distance, sometimes, again, in relation to international matters, people, communication, communication and travel. Maybe that's what you're hoping for because the star card is also a card of hope, hoping for something. Now we've got two, three sword cards here with the uh, this king of swords, which is in the advice position and how people see you. So some of you may be dealing with Aquarian energy. That could be your sun, moon or rising sign. I shouldn't say sun because if this is your partner, then it could be their sun or rising or moon sign. So Aquarian energy I have very strongly here. And also this could be a solicitor. This could be someone who is in a place... Um, that needs to make a decision. Someone is, you know, using their intellect. This is what the King of Swords does. He looks at the facts and he uh, cuts through business. He gets down to business and he is a serious king. He takes things very seriously. Not emotionally, though. He looks at the facts, as I said. So if this is your energy, you are looking at you know, A and B, from A to Z, what needs to be 
cleaned out because what does the sword do? The sword reminds me of Martian energy. What is Mars? Mars is cutting out what does not work. Um, and it's funny that I'm using the planet Mars here. Mars rules um, Aries and Mars rules Scorpio as well. Now we do have Jupiter which is in Scorpio at this time um, and that is affecting everyone obviously. Scorpio is the house, the hidden house, right? Whatever is hidden beneath. Scorpionic energy, death and rebirth, things coming up to the surface, information coming in that may be difficult for you to deal with or it is bringing you to a point of needing to fight. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you what you're looking at and what you're sacrificing in your life. If it's if you are dealing with a career move, okay, maybe there is something that maybe you're needing to change. Change something up within your your um your career path. For others of you, you're just delving into work, trying to, you know, find the answers. Sometimes a lot of people tend to, you know, leave their problems behind because they can't deal with them. It looks as though you are going through some sort of burden. But in the near future, you do have the Ten of Wands, and that is getting to your goal. The burden is completing Okay, after that we've got a restart. We're going to the Ace of Wands. So whatever you are trying to fight and push through for, you are very passionate about. Now in the environment position we have the, star, uh, the, uh, the Strength card and that is the card of Leo and Leo does, um, you know, Leo the Fifth House does speak of creative projects. It speaks of uh, feeling like a child uh, looking at the what the heart wants, what the heart says, okay, and um, having the strength to be able to manifest through perseverance, through patience, through wisdom, through trust. All these words come up with this card. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, sun, moon or rising. We do have more wands here. We've also got more wands here in the outcome position. Now your hopes and fears, the king of pentacles. This is what you're hoping for financially. You are hoping to be able to sit on this king's throne, be the one to give the... Um, the orders, you know, being the person in charge here, the entrepreneur. If this is in relation to a business, this is where you're hoping to, to, um, to be able to, to receive, you know, receive a position that is going to fulfill your dreams. So financial situations, financial matters, are very important for you here I see. Now this could be an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, again sun, moon or rising. This could be someone in your life who is very career orientated, you know the king of swords. So we've got air energy, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or the king of pentacles which is Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Now there is some sort of relationship here. Now this could be the same person, okay, just showing up in different situations. This could be someone in your life or, if, you know, it, it could even be your energy where at one point you're showing up as you're looking at the facts, okay, and in another sense, you're looking at things in your financial situation, in your, you know, 
you know, I'm just having so much trouble finding the words here. I'm really thrown off. There is something blocking me here, some sort of energy. I feel as though there is a major blockage. There is, if these are two different people we are talking about, there is a huge gap between these two people and this could be distance. This could be on an emotional level. And this could be something having to do with strength, okay? The, the energy of Leo, whether it be, because Leo also deals with children, right? And also with true love. So we do have two male energies here, even though this is a general reading, it could be, you know, it could be two females. Whatever the case, they are the same gender, two men or two women. Are we talking about a partnership in business where two people are very, they're quite different because the King of Swords is an air sign. Okay, they use their intellect, whereas the king of pentacles is a very grounded energy. Yes, very career orientated, much, a much more stable sort of an energy. Um, the outcome is the eight of wands, okay, as I said, uh, physical travel, flight, travel, internet messages, communication in general, and it's also a very fast energy. Um, now we've got the Knight of Wands here, which could be a fire sign. Now knights are all about action, right? Um, again, as I said, this is the energy of Sagittarius here. And... Um, I just noticed here we don't have any cups at all. No cups, dear Cancer. So if this is your energy, okay, movement, as I said before, um, very fast movement. This is a very quick night. But again, as I said, we are dealing with Sagittarian energy here, the ninth house, which deals with your belief system. It deals with spirituality. Sagittarian energy is beautiful energy, absolutely beautiful. Um, the higher mind, um, higher education, this is the guru here. Some of you may be needing to move to complete higher education, further your studies in, you know, if it is in relation to your career. But looking at these two cards together, I feel as though there is an, a, an opposing energy. It feels as though what you feel passionate about, you are torn between two worlds here. Do I go this way or do I go that way? You remember how I mentioned before the Two of Swords? Some of you are deciding maybe between two people air energy, earth energy. As I said, some of you, this could be your energies here showing up twice. For others of you, maybe you are hoping for a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. And we did have the card of the Hermit, which is Virgo energy before. So we've got Page of Wands here. Now this could be a message coming through from a fire sign, fire energy, fire element, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. Even Aries could be quite strong, thinking of the fool, that is the card of Aries. You know, the cards say one thing, but the intuition, my intuition is telling me something else. So whatever I feel, I have to say it. 
I have to. It's my duty. That's why I read the cards intuitively, right? Now, the Page of Wands, as I said, a message. And look, these wands are hitting this. They're hitting right on this Page of Wands, okay? They're coming from behind. So the message is going to be unexpected. These messages are going to be unexpected. Let me look at the environment position. And we've got the strength card here. I'm going to look at the card of Leo, please, universe. Can I have some clarification? What is this strength card in the environment position? Okay, here we've got a fire sign. Aries, as I just said, yes. Right, this is the emperor. This is number four of the major arcana. This also reminds me of the energy of Saturn. Look at his, um, look at how strict this character is, okay? The emperor is someone who is, there is a sense of boundaries here. There is a sense of, uh, a sense of limitation. But on the other hand, this also speaks of stability, okay? Having someone there that's, you know, uh, able, able to take care of business. This person is, sitting on his throne. He is the emperor. He is ab above all the kings and queens, of course. For some of you, this could be someone who is in your life who is giving you a lot of difficulty because maybe they have obligations, okay? It feels as though there is a door that is closed here in whatever situation we are talking about. If we are talking about business, career, relationship, okay, I feel as though this emperor and whatever he stands for, I feel as though there is a blockage here. Some sort of restrictive energy I'm picking up here. Now this could be a grandfather, this could be a father, this could be a partner, this could be anyone in your life, someone who is putting up the boundaries for what you want to manifest. And this emperor could be someone who is a parent, okay? So for some of you, Maybe this is your energy needing to, you know, not let people cross the line. It, that's if you are a parent yourself. If not, that this is someone who is older than you, someone who is more experienced. I'm going to take one more card on that. And it looks as though a lot of patience and a lot of uh, perseverance here is necessary. Okay, look. What was I saying before about limitations, boundaries? Because that's the energy that I felt. We have the, 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 uh, the energy of Capricorn here. Limitations. Restrictions feeling chained, feeling bound by some sort of situation. And I feel as though if this is not an actual person, right, then it is the archetype, the energy. There is something here which is blocking you, remember? Now, this could be your own things in your mind that are restricting you, saying to yourself, no, I can't do this. I cannot do this. I don't have the strength to do this. Well, that is wrong. You do have it. 
Whatever we want to manifest, we've got the energy to do it. We've got the strength to do it as long as we really, really want to do it. Anything we put our mind to, we can accomplish. And I'm shuffling now for the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands in the near future position. What is this burden? Is this too much work? Okay, juggling now. Either juggling two jobs, two people, a decision. Trying to find your balance. Doing the dance. But for how long can you do this for? I'm going to take one more card on that. Some of you may be trying to get away from some restrictions, some boundaries that are up in your life, that are blocking your energy to move forward. Two of Cups. So, in relationship, in partnership, business partnership, you are juggling either two partners, two people, two, um, two things that Two things that offer you stability, things that you have around you that are there for your stability. So you are weighing your options, right? And we do have the Two of Cups. This is your energy, right? So um, Some of you may be dealing with a Piscean energy because we've got the Hanged Man here, which is your challenge. The Hanged Man is the, the card of Neptune. Neptune is the ruler of Pisces, yeah? And Pisces is the opposite sign to Virgo. And Virgo was mentioned, so maybe... You know, dealing with Pisces and, and Virgo would not be surprised if the High Priestess shows up because that is the card. I was going to look at the Five of Swords. We've got the Ten of Cups. So you are fighting. Some of you are fighting a family, family situation. Some of you are fighting for your happiness, for your full emotional happiness in life. I want to take one more card on that Five. Okay, Page of Swords, speaking your truth, standing up for what you believe in. Okay, this could be some message that is coming in that, and remember with the Ace of Swords, this is all about the truth. For those of you that are persevering in relation to furthering your studies, as I said, the, the Page of Swords is a, a student, right? I would like to look at uh, what is this stagnancy with a hanged man? What is holding you back? Queen of Swords. Okay, air energy. Gemini, Libra or Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Right. We do have a couple here, both the same sort of energies. And look at this queen. Looks as though her sword is going to come down. The king does not, he does not know that she's there. He's not looking at her. He's not paying attention to her. He's more focused on something else, right? It's practically as though he's showing the sword to us saying, I'm going to use this if I need it. And she's there trying to, trying to communicate clearly, but there is, it's as though she's talking to a wall. There is no communication here. Okay, when I have two, a king and a queen of the same element, this is a karmic relationship, and I believe that 
this is your energy here. I do believe this. So you are you are taking time out on a decision here. I'm going to look at the uh, the chariot now, which is the general energy. Knight of Cups. This could be your energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, so moving forward, trying to move forward. I think that you are offering your, your cup to someone, dear Cancer. For some of you, this may be a, uh, an offer that you received. This could be the case as well. From another uh, water sign, which could be, as I said, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But whatever the case, the chariot says that the obstacles are going to be overcome. I'm going to take one card on the Eight of Wands, which is in the outcome position. And then I will go on to the Sibylas for you. Ace of Wands, new beginning, feeling very passionate, starting something. Remember how I said after the 10, we have the Ace, here is the Ace. So beautiful to see, I love the Ace there, I really do, because this page is holding the Ace of Wands, right? So you're ready to take a risk on what is creative, what you feel passionate about, what, you're, what inspires you and what your heart says to you. So you're going to be making a decision. Do I go this way or that way? The decision is going to be made in November. Okay. Let me look at this devil. The emperor, the devil and the strength card in the environment position. This could be a new idea that's going to push you forward. So you're thinking of doing things the old way, but no, you are going to do things in a new way, Cancer. It looks as though you're going to leave what you, the way you perceive things and the way you did things in the past, you're going to leave that and you are changing, you are transforming, you are moving forward. Okay, we've got delirante, which is deliriousness, silly Silly, a silly attitude, a silly way of doing things. Mercande, the merchant. This is very different energy. Delerante and Mercande are two polar opposite energies here. So the merchant is the uh, business owner, right? Probably looking into contracts, new uh, deals, if we are talking business. And then we have the superbia, which is, yes, a card of vanity, but also it is something really good. For some of you, this may mean that you need to overcome your ego because the devil is a very egotistical energy, right? It's all about the ego. And what kind of an ego does this emperor have? Huge and what kind of an ego do Leo have? That's the shadow side of Leo. They've got a very big ego, don't they? We all have our shadow side. If you're a cross watcher and you're a Leo, please do not take this in a negative way. I am Leo Moon, so we all have it in us. 
Sometimes we have a healthy ego, yeah? And we say, okay, it's time to look at, after me, me, myself and I, number one. And that's what the North Node in Leo is telling us. That's the energy we should be moving into. But not, you know, we're not, it's not just us. It has to be more of an Aquarian energy about the group. Even though South Node is in Aquarius, North Node in Leo, yes, we need to take care of number one first, which is us, but keep a healthy boundary. Don't overstep the boundary. I'm going to look at this, the energy of now, Queen of Swords, what is she doing there? What are you guys doing? Stanza, secrets, news coming in. Uh, this is a very sexual card because it speaks of the intimacy. And um, again, secrets. Il namiko, the enemy, the snake. And prigione. Here are the, ba the boundaries, the ego, the chains, Capricornian energy. Okay, so there are negative things here. That's why this queen is going to sever ties. For all of you, of course, this negative energy here means something else to each and every one of you. Okay, please take the, uh, the advice how it resonates for you. It's going to be different for each and every one. For those of you that have got a devil in your life, it is time to sever. Sever those ties. For those of you that are being held back from negative, negative uh, perceptions that you cannot move forward, with a prigione, that's what you feel. You need to change that. You need to get rid of that. Cut those chains. I'm going to look at the two of cups, which is in the near future position. Dona Maritata, this is like... Um, this is the woman with children. It reminds me of the Empress, this card, very much so. Okay, so what is the Empress all about? She's all about growth, stability, right? Again, perseverance, patience, because she's pregnant. She has to be patient to give birth. Also, this could be another, the other person's partner. Someone could be involved already with someone else. They, this woman may already have a partner. And you are the third party, let's say. Or, or the other way around. Whatever it is, though, it, to me it's a very positive card, this one. Let's see what else. Jealousy. Jealousy. Tears. Regret. Having regret some actions. And then we've got Allegresa al cuore, which again, three people here. Happiness. Okay, so we've got happiness of the heart. Okay, so we have the two positive cards that are mirroring the negative energy in the middle here. Yes, maybe there are regrets, but we still need to move forward on that, right? Some of you may be um, regretting having lost time. You could be regretting anything. There are so many things in life that we can say, I should have done things differently. You know, maybe I should have gone with my passion instead of with, with what my brain says to me, my mind. It is time to go with what your heart says and not with what your head says. I'm going to look at the uh, chariot and then I will... Um, Actually, I'm not going to look at the chariot. I'd like to look at this King of Swords.
So Speedy, it's like the Three of Wands, hoping and wishing for your ships to come in, waiting. Fortuna, Fortuna is Jupiter, Jupiter in Scorpio. You know, the wheels of time are changing, everything changes, nothing stays stagnant, thank goodness for that. An artista, which could be a solicitor, right? This is very Aquarian energy here. Whatever the case, this is a discovery that is being made. So whatever you have been hoping and waiting for, there is going to be a drastic change where information will come in. For some of you, this could be a um, legal matter, a someone who is there um, advising you. Um, okay, for others of you, this is just you putting you or your partner or whoever you are dealing with, whoever this King of Swords is, putting in a lot of thought here. So what is uh, the Fortuna? As I said, Jupiter in Scorpio, and there is going to be a discovery. So news is coming in. Jupiter is bringing up the information from the 8th house in relation to 8th house matters which deal with births, deaths, regeneration, other people's money, sex, uh, wills, deeds, loans, things that are hidden way beneath. Information is coming in. A discovery is going to be made. Wow. Just like Kay Pacha says with um, the beautiful astrologer from New Paradigm Astrology, which I absolutely love him he's such a such a wise person his knowledge is just unfounded it is amazing k patcher shout out to you um he says wow yeah <laughs> so wonderful i do suggest that all of you go and um, check out his channel he is amazing i would like to go now to um Doreen Virtue, Romance Angels. Now, okay, not very good shuffling. I don't know why. I don't know why. Archangel Michael and Gabriel. For cancer and their love life in November 2017 what are the energies what is the message what message do you have for me okay this card wants to come out right calling in your soulmate he this is Archangel Michael your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together soulmate energy so cancer it looks as though the universe is there for you whatever blockages you are dealing with whatever blockages because Pluto is in Capricorn digging up the dirt Pluto wants to bring transformation okay and it is in house number 10 which is Capricorn Okay, so in relation to your um, your career, because that's what uh, the 10th house is all about, you know, how you make your money, there's going to be a transformation, that's what Pluto is all about, okay, major transformation. Pluto is doing so much. Um... What did I want to say? What did I want to say? I've mentioned so many signs here that it's not funny, right? I do have trouble with telling the singles exactly because there are so many signs here. So, um, you know, I don't want to uh, stay stuck on one sign because we all have the same energies in our charts, right? Depending on the time and how it shows up, how we react how the other people react, 
makes all the difference in the world. Sorry for that pause. Anyway, I will leave it at that. Um, that was your reading for November 2017, Dear Cancer. Whatever it is, whatever it is in your life, whatever offer you want to make or if you've been made an offer, do accept the offer. Okay? Do move forward with the offer. Hand this cup to the person that you are interested in, the person that you feel that is in your life for a reason. Okay, you feel it coming on for those singles that have not met a partner as of yet. November is going to be very pivotal for you. Okay, this is a very strong card. All I know is leave everything to the universe. You will be guided. Dear Cancer, I would like to thank you so much. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Do take care. Check out your moon and your rising signs. And thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Um, blessings, blessings to all. Keep well. Bye-bye.